The creation of The Donna Reed Show began with its namesake, Donna Reed, who was already a well-established actress. Having won an Academy Award for her role in the 1953 film From Here to Eternity, she was approached by executive producer Tony Owen with the concept of a family-oriented television series. Reed, drawn to the idea of playing a positive and nurturing character, agreed to take on the lead role. Selecting the perfect husband for Reed's character, Alex Stone, proved to be a crucial step. The producers found their man in Carl Betts, a stage and film actor who had previously appeared in numerous television shows. Betts's chemistry with Reed was undeniable, and he was offered the part. For the role of the Stone family's teenage daughter, Mary, the producers sought a fresh face. They found Shelley Fabre, a young actress who had previously appeared in a few films and television shows. Fabre, youthful charm and innocence made her an ideal fit for the part. The character of Jeff Stone, the Stone family's teenage son, was more challenging to cast. After a series of auditions, the producers discovered Paul Peterson, a young and talented actor who had appeared in various commercials and television shows. Peterson's ability to convincingly portray a mischievous yet lovable character won him the part. Once the main cast was in place, the producers focused on creating a cohesive and believable family dynamic. This was achieved through a series of read-throughs and chemistry tests, allowing the actors to interact and build relationships both on and off-screen. The result was a classic television series that resonated with audiences and has endured for generations. Oh, Alex, take me home. Oh, darling, aren't you being a little foolish? Alex, take me home. Well, just because your former roommate wants to see you, that's... How oh, would you... The Donna Reed Show was a popular TV series that aired in 1958, and its success can be attributed to the directorial vision of its creators. The show's directors approached each episode with a clear and distinct style that brought the story to life. One of the most notable aspects of the director's approach was their attention to detail. They worked closely with the cast and crew to ensure that every scene was carefully planned and executed. This meticulous approach helped to create a believable and engaging world that drew viewers in week after week. The directors were also influenced by the classic films of the time, and this is evident in the show's cinematography. They used lighting and camera angles to create a warm, an inviting atmosphere that made viewers feel like they were part of the action. Collaboration was key to the success of the Donna Reed show. The directors worked closely with the show's writers to ensure that the storylines were both entertaining and meaningful. They also worked with the cast to help them fully embody their characters, creating a cohesive and believable ensemble. In addition to their technical skills, the directors of the Donna Reed show were also masters of storytelling. They knew how to craft a compelling narrative that kept viewers engaged from beginning to end. They used humor, drama, and emotion to create a rich and nuanced viewing experience. Overall, the directorial vision behind the Donna Reed show was one of meticulous attention to detail, collaboration, and storytelling. The director's approach helped to create a classic TV series that continues to be beloved by audiences today. Do -do. Just wrap your trouble. The Donna Reed Show, a 1958 TV series, has stood the test of time and remains a beloved symbol of the television industry. Its enduring qualities, such as relatable characters and timeless storylines, keep viewers engaged even today. One notable aspect of the show is the presence of classic Hollywood actors. For instance, the talented Donna Reed herself brought grace and charm to the role of Donna Stone. She was a favorite of many viewers, including young housewives who saw themselves in her character. Throughout the series, there were many funny, shocking, and sad moments that left a lasting impression on audiences. In the coming moments, we'll delve into some of these fascinating facts, so stay tuned. Do you have a most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Donna Reed Show? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts, and let's reminisce together. Now, let's explore the surprising connections between Donna Reed and other classic Hollywood stars. You might be surprised by what we find. Reed isn't what Rick wants. He's just a boy. What does he know? The Donna Reed Show, a classic 1958 TV series, was known for its detailed set design. The show's creators paid meticulous attention to every element, from the furniture to the wallpaper, to create a realistic and relatable environment for viewers. The set for the Stone family's home was designed to reflect a typical middle-class American household of the time. The attention to detail even extended to the food in the refrigerator, which was carefully selected to match the family's lifestyle and social status. Unlike many TV shows of the time, 
The Donna Reed Show was primarily filmed on a soundstage in Hollywood, California. This allowed the creators to have complete control over the show's environment and ensured consistent quality from episode to episode. However, this approach also presented logistical challenges. For instance, the show's large cast and crew had to work in a confined space, which required careful planning and coordination. To overcome these challenges, the show's producers employed innovative techniques and technologies. For example, they used a multi-camera setup, which allowed them to capture the action from multiple angles simultaneously. This approach reduced the need for retakes and made the filming process more efficient. Additionally, the show's creators used a live audience for some scenes, which added energy and authenticity to the performances. Despite the challenges of filming on a soundstage, the show's creators were able to create a believable and engaging world that resonated with viewers. The Donna Reed Show sets, locations, and logistical solutions are a testament to the ingenuity and hard work of the show's creators, and they continue to inspire TV production today. Here's to your room, huh? Oh, okay. Wait, hey, Mom, you should see Johnny's father's muscles. His arms look like they're full of potatoes. The Donna Reed Show, a classic television series that aired from 1958 to 1966, was a groundbreaking sitcom that centered around the daily life of a housewife and her family. Donna Stone, played by Donna Reed, was the perfect image of a 1950s housewife, always dressed impeccably and managing her household with ease. The show was one of the first to depict a working mother, as Donna occasionally took on part-time jobs. The series was created by William S. Roberts and featured a talented cast, including Carl Betts as Donna's husband, Alex Stone and Paul Peterson, and Shelley Fabre as their children, Jeff and Mary. The show's setting was a typical middle-class suburban home, and the storylines revolved around the family's everyday experiences, including school, work, and social events. Donna Reed's portrayal of a housewife was revolutionary for its time, as she challenged the traditional gender roles of the 1950s. Reed's character was not only a loving wife and mother but also an intelligent and capable woman who could handle any situation that came her way. The show's writers often incorporated social issues into the storylines, such as women's rights, education, and mental health, making it a thought-provoking and engaging program. The Donna Reed Show was also known for its talented cast, particularly Donna Reed herself. Reed was an accomplished actress who had already won an Academy Award for her role in the 1953 film From Here to Eternity. Her portrayal of Donna Stone was both nuanced and relatable, making her a beloved figure in American television. Carl Betts, who played Donna's husband, Alex, was also a skilled actor who brought depth and complexity to his character. Betts's portrayal of Alex Stone was that of a loving husband and father who was also a successful lawyer. His character was a perfect complement to Donna's, and their on-screen chemistry was undeniable. Paul Peterson and Shelley Fabre, who played the Stone children, Jeff and Mary, were also talented actors who brought youthful energy and excitement to the show. Their characters were typical teenagers, dealing with school, relationships, and the challenges of growing up. The Donna Reed Show was a groundbreaking television series that challenged traditional gender roles and incorporated social issues into its storylines. The show's talented cast, led by the accomplished Donna Reed, made it a beloved classic that continues to be watched and enjoyed today. Whether you're a fan of classic television or simply looking for an entertaining and thought-provoking program, The Donna Reed Show is definitely worth a watch. The Donna Reed Show, a classic 1958 TV series, would not have been complete without its enchanting musical score and soundtrack. The music, composed by David Rose, played a crucial role in complementing the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Rose, an experienced musician and composer, had already made a name for himself in the industry. He was known for his ability to create music that perfectly matched the mood of the scenes. For the Donna Reed show, Rose aimed to create a score that reflected the warmth and humor of the series. The soundtrack featured a mix of instrumental pieces and popular songs of the time. The instrumental music, often played during transitional scenes, helped to maintain the show's light-hearted tone. Meanwhile, the popular songs, performed by the characters themselves, added a touch of realism and relatability. When composing the music, Rose drew inspiration from the show's storylines and characters. For instance, the playful and upbeat tune Stone Age Mo, which was featured in an episode where Donna's character, Alex Stone, pretends to be a caveman, perfectly encapsulated the humor and absurdity of the scene. 
The musicians involved in the production of the show's music also played a significant role in its success. The show's orchestra, led by Rose, consisted of highly skilled musicians who were able to bring his compositions to life. The result was a soundtrack that not only complemented the show's narrative and emotional tone but also stood on its own as a piece of art. In conclusion, the musical score and soundtrack of the Donna Reed show were essential elements that contributed to the show's success. The music, composed by David Rose and performed by a talented group of musicians, perfectly captured the warmth, humor, and relatability of the series. And, and you two girls did an especially good job yesterday. Thank you, Mrs. Stone. All right, now, let's get down to work. In the mid-1980s, Shelley Fabre, known for her role in the Donna Reed show, collaborated with Heather Langenkamp for a murder. She wrote style pilot called Suburban Beat. They played housewives who doubled as mystery solvers. Fabre music career also intersected with the world of Elvis Presley. Before they co-starred in three of his films, she had already been linked to him through music. When her hit single Johnny Angel topped the charts in April 1962, it was knocked out of the number one position by Presley's Good Luck Charm. The two future co-stars held the top two chart positions for several weeks. Interestingly, Fabre held a deep affection for Donna Reed, considering her a second mother. This bond went beyond the typical actor-mentor relationship, highlighting the nurturing environment on the set of The Donna Reed Show. Despite the passage of time, the impact of this classic show and its stars continues to resonate in the world of television. Who would have thought that a simple TV series would leave such an enduring mark on popular culture? Here, I've got 15 cents. <laughs> in the first iconic scene of the Donna Reed show, Donna Stone, played by Donna Reed, deftly manages her household while her husband is away. The camera work is intimate, focusing on Reed's facial expressions and body language as she interacts with her children. Reed's performance is warm and relatable, capturing the struggles and triumphs of a 1950s housewife. This scene resonates with audiences, highlighting the importance of competence and resilience in the face of adversity. In another memorable scene, Donna's husband, Alex Stone, portrayed by Carl Betts, surprises his family with a visit home from a business trip. The reunion is filled with joy and laughter, and the chemistry between Reed and Betts is palpable. The cinematography is bright and cheerful, reflecting the happiness of the moment. Betts's performance is nuanced, capturing the affection and respect he has for his wife. This scene leaves a lasting impact on viewers, emphasizing the value of family and togetherness. Director William D. Russell expertly captures the warmth and humor of this classic television series. He often employs close-ups to highlight the emotions of the actors, and his use of lighting and color creates a cozy, inviting atmosphere. Russell's direction is subtle yet effective, allowing the characters and storylines to take center stage. The Donna Reed Show has had a lasting impact on audiences and the television industry. The show's positive portrayal of family life and strong female characters has inspired generations of viewers. Donna Reed's groundbreaking performance as a competent, Loving Mother has been hailed as a significant contribution to the representation of women on television. This classic series continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to the enduring power of family and love. Alex, what are you going to do? There are times when you have to... In the classic television series, The Donna Reed Show, Carl Betts's character of Dr. Alex Stone was ranked as one of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time by TV Guide. Specifically, he secured the number 16 spot in the June 20, 2004 issue. Before joining the Reed family on the show, recurring cast member Jimmy Hawkins had already shared the screen with Donna Reed. In the classic film, It's a Wonderful Life, he played Donna Reed's son. In The Donna Reed Show, he took on the role of Mary's steady boyfriend. Paul Peterson, who played Jeff Stone on the show, is now a board member for the Donna Reed Foundation. He also works at the Donna Reed Festival in Denison, IA, which takes place every year during the third week of June. <laughs> the Donna Reed Show, a 1950s TV series, left a significant cultural and social impact. Starring Donna Reed as Donna Stone, the show resonated with audiences by presenting an idealized version of suburban life. It showcased a middle-class family with well-adjusted children, a loving husband, and a devoted mother, all living in harmony. This portrayal offered comfort and escape to viewers amidst the rapid social changes of the time. 
The series also influenced pop culture, popularizing certain trends and values. Donna Stone's fashionable wardrobe and stylish home decor inspired viewers, reflecting the era's focus on consumerism and domesticity. The show's theme song, Love, American Style, became a popular anthem, embodying the optimism and romanticism of the American dream. Moreover, The Donna Reed Show contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. It tackled issues such as gender roles, adolescence, and family dynamics. The show presented a more modern image of women compared to other series of the time, with Donna Stone being a career-oriented mother and a competent homemaker. This balanced representation of femininity challenged traditional stereotypes and paved the way for future progressive portrayals of women in media. In essence, The Donna Reed Show offered a glimpse into the American cultural landscape of the 1950s, reflecting societal values and influencing popular trends. Its nuanced depiction of gender roles and family life contributed to broader cultural conversations, leaving a lasting impact on television and society. Now, would you folks like to come along and see us shoot a scene for our picture? I'd love to. We would. In 1960, Harvey Corman, a familiar face on the set of The Donna Reed Show, tied the knot with Donna L. Hart. The couple went on to have two children, Maria and Christopher, before divorcing in 1977. Corman then started a new family with Deborah Fritz, welcoming two more children, Catherine and Laura, into their lives. The character played by Carl Betts, Alex Stone, was depicted leaving for work in a business suit and carrying a briefcase in all versions of the show's opening credits. However, in reality, Stone was a pediatrician who worked from home, running his practice from the room behind the pocket doors to the right of the front door. He only wore a suit and carried a briefcase on the days he worked at the hospital. Jack Albertson, who also appeared in the Donna Reed show, achieved the triple crown of acting in 1976. He won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor in the Subject Was Roses, a Tony for Best Supporting Actor in the same title play, and an Emmy for Best Actor Comedy Series in Chico and the Man. Where? In Middleburg, Ohio at 10.30 in the morning on April 13th. I, I caught my heel in love with you to nothing yet. The Donna Reed Show, a 1958 TV series, received positive reviews during its time and continues to be a classic in American television. The show was praised for its warm and wholesome depiction of family life, with Donna Reed's character, Donna Stone, being hailed as a positive role model for mothers. The New York Times described Reed as a paragon of serene competence in their review of the show. Audience reactions were also favorable, with many viewers appreciating the show's relatable and entertaining portrayal of suburban life. The Donna Reed Show was a staple in American living rooms for eight seasons, with an average of 26 million viewers per week at its peak. The show also received recognition from the television industry, earning several award nominations. Donna Reed herself was nominated for two Primetime Emmy Awards for outstanding continued performance by an actress in a leading role in a dramatic series. The show's theme song, Love, American Style, was also nominated for a Grammy Award for Best TV Theme. Receiving these accolades meant a great deal for those involved in the show. For Donna Reed, the nominations solidified her status as a talented actress and a beloved figure in American television. The nominations also highlighted the show's high production values and its impact on audiences. In conclusion, the Donna Reed Show's critical reception and awards are a testament to its enduring appeal and the talent of those involved. The show's positive portrayal of family life and Reed's memorable performance continue to resonate with audiences today. Kathleen Freeman, known for her roles in classic films, was considered for the part of Alice Nelson in The Brady Bunch. Freeman's resume included appearances in three Oscar-nominated films The Greatest Show on Earth, A Place in the Sun, and The Sting, the latter two being Best Picture winners. In addition to her film career, Freeman's likeness was used as inspiration for the woman on the cover of Russia's Permanent Waves album, further solidifying her place in popular culture. The show's lead actress, Donna Reed, also left a lasting impact. The Donna Reed Show, a classic television series, showcased Reed's talent and style. Her influence extended beyond the small screen, as the woman depicted on the cover of Russia's album was modeled after her. This highlights the enduring impact of both Freeman and Reed, who continue to be remembered for their contributions to entertainment. Honey, will you stop struggling, please? I mean, a zipper will not respond to violence. In the late 1950s, the Donna Reed show burst onto television screens 
captivating audiences with its heartwarming stories and impeccable cast. Donna Reed, a renowned actress, led the show as Donna Stone, a loving wife and mother navigating the challenges of suburban life. But behind the scenes, the production was not always as smooth as the final product suggested. During the filming of the first season, the show's producers faced a significant challenge. They had initially cast veteran actor John Larch as Donna's husband, Alex Stone. However, Larch's stern demeanor and rigid acting style clashed with Reed's more lighthearted approach. After just a few episodes, the producers made the difficult decision to recast the role, replacing Larch with Carl Betts. Betts, a relatively unknown actor at the time, proved to be the perfect foil for Reed, his easygoing charm, and natural comedic timing meshed perfectly with Reed's more understated style, and the two quickly developed a strong on-screen chemistry. The show's ratings soared, and Betts became a household name virtually overnight. Meanwhile, the show's young cast members, Shelley Fabre and Paul Peterson, who played the Stone children, were also grappling with the demands of fame. Fabre, who was just 12 years old when the show began, quickly became a teenage heartthrob, attracting legions of adoring fans. However, she struggled to balance her newfound fame with the demands of school and family life. Peterson, who was just 11 when he was cast on the show, faced his own set of challenges. As one of the few child actors working in television at the time, he found himself thrust into a world of intense scrutiny and pressure. Despite these challenges, both Fabre and Peterson remained professional and dedicated to their craft, earning praise from their colleagues and fans alike. Off screen, the show's crew faced their own set of challenges. The production schedule was grueling, with episodes often shot in just a few days. The show's writers, many of whom were inexperienced at the time, struggled to come up with fresh and engaging storylines week after week. Despite these challenges, the Donna Reed show endured, becoming one of the most beloved and enduring television classics of all time. Reed's warm and relatable portrayal of a suburban mother struck a chord with audiences, and the show's talented cast and crew helped to create a timeless piece of television history. Me, I'm up six every morning. It's a habit, I guess. Well, if you don't need any help, I'll be seeing you later. All right. oh, right. Kathleen Freeman, known for her role in the Donna Reed show, received a Tony Award nomination for The Full Monty. Before her acting career, Freeman grew up in Binghamton, NY, where she lived just a mile away from Rod Serling, the creator of The Twilight Zone. Richard Deacon, who played a significant role in the TV series, also lived in Binghamton, New York during his childhood. He graduated from Binghamton Central High School in 1938. Interestingly, Deacon and Serling were neighbors during their formative years. Shelley Fabre, who starred as Donna Reed's daughter in the show, also worked with Carl Betts, who played her father in the movie Spin Out. The chemistry between the actors was undeniable, making their on-screen relationship believable and endearing to audiences. This classic television show brought together talented actors who continued to work together in various projects throughout their careers. How long did it used to take you to say goodnight? <laughs> The Donna Reed Show, a 1950s television series, holds a significant place in film history. As one of the first family sitcoms, it paved the way for future programming, offering a wholesome view of American life. The show's innovative use of multiple cameras and live studio audiences set a precedent for later multi-camera comedies. This classic series, starring Donna Reed as a wise and loving mother, presented a new kind of female character on television. Reed's portrayal of a competent, nurturing woman who balanced work and family life offered a fresh perspective during a time when most TV mothers were homemakers. Her character served as an inspiration for future female leads, both on television and in film. The Donna Reed show also had a lasting impact on future filmmaking. Its episodic structure, with each episode focusing on a self-contained story, influenced later television writers and producers. Additionally, the show's emphasis on humor, heart, and family values can be seen in many contemporary sitcoms. Several subsequent works were inspired by this groundbreaking series. For example, the popular 1980s sitcom The Cosby Show drew inspiration from The Donna Reed Show, as both shows focused on a successful, loving family. Furthermore, Reed's character can be seen as a precursor to Claire Huxtable, the strong, intelligent mother in The Cosby Show. In conclusion, The Donna Reed Show left an indelible mark on the film industry, inspiring future filmmakers and television producers with its innovative storytelling and nuanced characters. Its influence can still be felt today, 
as the show's themes of family, love, and personal growth continue to resonate with audiences. Uh, hello, Roger. Uh, could you call back? In the TV series The Donna Reed Show, Richard Deacon's funeral was held at Grandview Crematory, with the funeral director from Westwood Village Mortuary overseeing the arrangements. Before his role in this classic, Paul Peterson was allegedly dismissed from the Mickey Mouse Club by Walt Disney himself due to his unbecoming conduct. One notable incident involved Peterson punching the casting director in the stomach after being called a mouse one too many times. Donna Reed, known for her role in this beloved show, was also an uncredited producer and occasional director. She and then-husband Tony Owen established the production company Toad On of California, which produced the Donna Reed Show. This just goes to show that Reed's contributions to the series went beyond just acting. Alex, would you be terribly disappointed if we didn't play bridge tonight? Why? What else would we do? In the late 1950s, the Donna Reed Show emerged, offering a glimpse into American family life. Mimsy Farmer, a guest star in the series, had previously appeared in Perry Mason in 1964, featuring in episodes like The Case of the Careless Kidnapper and The Case of the Tragic Trophy. After the show's conclusion, Donna Reed's last husband, Grover Asmus, established the Donna Reed Foundation, which paved the way for the annual Donna Reed Festival in Denison, Iowa. This celebration honors Donna and includes classes, performances, and appearances from stars such as Shelley Fabre, Debbie Reynolds, and Lauren Janes. Shelley Fabre, who gained recognition from the Donna Reed show, was later portrayed by Lorraine Landry in the film A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes the Annette Funicello Story in 1995. The Donna Reed Show's impact continues to be felt, as its stars and the show itself remain a significant part of television history. Well, if you really feel that way, I know I failed as a father. In 1965, Jack Albertson, known for his role in The Donna Reed Show, achieved a significant milestone. He won the Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Drama for his performance in The Subject Was Roses, held in New York City. The Donna Reed Show was a groundbreaking family-oriented sitcom of the 1950s and early 60s. Unlike other shows of its time, it made the mother the central figure, breaking new ground in television. The living room set of The Donna Reed Show found a second life in several popular television shows. It was used as Major Nelson's living room on I Dream of Jeannie, The Mitchell's living room in Dennis the Menace, and in the show Hazel on multiple occasions. This classic set became a familiar space for many television viewers, transcending the boundaries of individual shows. If you don't go over and find out what they're talking about, I will. <laughs> what I say? Anything, anything. In the first season opening credits of The Munsters, a parody of the Donna Reed show can be observed. The opening sequence of the Donna Reed show featured Donna Reed lovingly preparing lunches for her family members as they left the house one by one. In The Munsters, Yvonne DiCarlo, playing Lily Munster, mimics this action. Donna Reed, the lead actress in the TV series, had a successful film career before starring in The Donna Reed Show. She was in three Oscar Best Picture nominees, including the human comedy, It's a Wonderful Life, and From Here to Eternity, with the latter winning the award. Carl Betts, who played Dr. Alex Stone on The Donna Reed Show, was ranked as one of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time by TV Guide in 24. His character's inclusion in this list highlights the positive impact and legacy of the Donna Reed show on television history. Mary, you know very uh, well. Uh, everything went just fine, Mr. and Mrs. Damon Kirby. In the 1958 TV series The Donna Reed Show, Bob Crane played a significant role. However, his life ended tragically in 1978 when he was bludgeoned to death with a blunt object, suspected to be a video camera tripod. Despite investigations, the murder weapon was never found, leaving the case unsolved. Postmortem, a video cable was found wrapped around his neck. Mary Treen, a co-star in the series, had a notable film career before her TV role. She appeared in three Oscar-nominated films Kitty Foyle, It's a Wonderful Life, and The Snake Pit. Her successful film career preceded her role in the classic TV series. Donna Reed, the lead actress, achieved significant milestones in her career. She was the 39th actress to receive an Academy Award, winning the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in From Here to Eternity at the 26th Annual Academy Awards in 1954. Her success in the series was a testament to her established film career. If you don't feel up to it, we'll take good care of the doctor for you. <laughs>
In the world of classic television, The Donna Reed Show is known for its heartwarming portrayal of American family life. Interestingly, Paul Peterson, who played Donna Reed's on-screen son, shares a birth year and a similar Midwestern background with Reed's own mother, both hailing from Iowa and born in 1921. Another young actor on the show, Charles Herbert, faced a challenging financial situation. Unlike his co-stars, he didn't benefit from the standard practice of setting aside a percentage of earnings for future use. As a result, he received only $1,700 from his TV and film work, a stark contrast to the potential wealth he could have accumulated. Kathleen Freeman, who appeared in The Donna Reed Show, boasts an impressive filmography, with nine of her films selected for the National Film Registry. These include classics like Singin' in the Rain and The Sting, showcasing her versatility and enduring impact on American cinema. Uh, let's forget about the fishing, shall we? Forget it, Dad. I'm using the trip as a case history. Donna Reed, known for her role in The Donna Reed Show, shared a close bond with her TV daughter, Shelley Fabre. Fabre considered Reed as her second mother, a relationship that lasted until Reed's passing in 1986. Reed's acting career was marked by significant achievements. She won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in From Here to Eternity, a film that also won the Best Picture Oscar. As of 2022, she is one of 13 actresses to have achieved this feat, alongside notable names such as Hattie McDaniel and Meryl Streep. In addition to their on-screen sibling roles, Paul Peterson and his younger sister, Patty Peterson, who played Jeff and Trisha on The Donna Reed Show, share a real-life brother-sister relationship. The Donna Reed Show, which aired from 1958, provided a platform for these talented actors to showcase their skills and build a familial bond both on and off the screen. I think we better find him. He's going to that young man that your father hired to cut the grass. Has been a In the early years of The Donna Reed Show, product placement was common with Campbell's Soup, Veet Juice, Franco-American Canned Goods, and Johnson & Johnson products conspicuously featured. Donna Reed's strong throwing arm came as a surprise to director Frank Capra during the filming of It's a Wonderful Life, as she was originally planned to be doubled for the scene where she throws a rock at the Granville house. As for Shelley Fabre, her iconic pink hair was inspired by a woman she encountered at a hair salon during a liver transplant. This woman, who was of mixed Asian, African, and European descent, had spiky pink hair, which evidently left a lasting impression on Fabre. The backstory of her hair color is as unique as this classic television show itself. And him in. Mr. Sidney? The Donna Reed Show, a beloved 1958 TV series, has touched the hearts of many. Did this classic impact you personally or influence your perspective on cinema? We'd love to hear your experiences and memories. Perhaps the show made you laugh, cry, or even inspired you to pursue your dreams. How did it leave a mark on you? Share your stories with us and engage with others who hold the same fondness for this timeless series. Let's spark some nostalgia and reminisce about the good old days. Like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. We can't wait to see what this show means to you. Hi, honey. Hello, hi. Join us in a nightcap? Uh, no, thanks, dear.